Hi, I'm Boachi. I am your woodland forest fae creature here to give you good will on your build. We are going to learn how to build a spruce forest abode. There is a video where I completed this build with my own uh, mod pack. Here I am making the build with the basic items that anyone can get a hold of. These here. We're going to start by making the base. So this right here, I outlined it with wool blocks. It's 11 by 13 blocks. So what we're gonna do first is dig out the dirt right here, as soon as I can get it to look nice. There, okay, come on, go, go, there we go, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna dig out the ground. It's 11 by 13, and what we're gonna do is, once we get this finished here, we're gonna fill it in with jungle wood or whatever kind of wood you wanna use for the flooring. What I used was a strip jungle wood log. So whatever color you'd prefer, or whatever you think goes nice with spruce wood, because that's what the main build is gonna be. Uh, oak wood would look good here. Uh, birch would probably look good. Uh, or the terracotta. Terracotta is always nice. I like using terracotta quite a lot, or I try to. <laughs> so here we go. We finished it up. And then next we're going to move on to making the house. So what we're going to do is come over to one end and lay down a row of logs. And then you're going to want to go up one. So see here? So there's one row. This is the second row. And then get rid of this. Go away. There we go. Clean it up. And now we're going to do the third row. And so what this is going to be is it's going to be five rows that go diagonally up to the top. So we're on our fourth row and we're going, going, and then this is the fifth row. When doing stuff like this, it's also a bit easier to kind of like lay out the wool. That way you can just go ahead and do it. I kind of just did it as I went. So see there's five, row five diagonal blocks. See, so here it is. You could do it like this, which would make it a lot easier with the wool. So there's one row, second row, third row, and then this is the fifth row. And you'll notice that there's one more row that needs to be done, and it's the very point, and it's the sixth row for both sides. So now we have like a triangle A-frame house, and then you come back here, and all you need is planks and stairs, and you just decorate it however you want, make whatever design you want, but you want to have some dimension to it. You don't want it to just be flat uh, planks that are there. I also added buttons, which uh, are hard to see. I went back and changed it to spruce, but there's buttons here. The spruce buttons give it more dimension, so it'll look a lot better by the end of your build. You also take the planks and the stairs and do it to the front. Make sure you leave a three block gap though for the doorway and then add another block there in front for the floor. And then what you do is you trim it in iron. So there's gonna be two irons on each side. And this here is the windows. This is three, this is one block up and then three blocks knocked out. And you have a total of six blocks. So one block up, cut out six blocks and you have a window. And we're gonna do it four times. So six blocks right there. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to have this four times. It's one block off the floor. And then here we're doing the living room, or the bedroom. It's all really one room. So you put down some chests, and then you can put down some ta ta crafting tables, a suit of armor, and then I put frames on the wall. You can't see them because mine are invisible. I forgot to make them not invisible. But yeah, put tools on the wall that you're going to use in all your adventure and minecrafting. And then it was a little bit blank, so I put some pictures up. These will look good, give it some homey nature to it. And then you can put a blast furnace, a cartography table, the stone cutter, more crafting tables, whatever it is, the blocks that you use, you could put them down. And then this is the kitchen, which is always fun to do. So here I put down a few spruces to fill up the blank spot under the window. That way when you look in, there's not just a gap. So then you put down the uh, barrels for the dishes where they, they could be, and then I put down a cauldron, and I like to put down looms because they look like a dresser, and I always think it's the uh, sign you put down, but anyways, you put a frame on the front of the loom, and then you put an oak plate on it like that, and you turn it around and it looks like a handle, and then you can put an oak pressure plate on top to kind of blend it in more so the design on top isn't distracting. And then you put down your furnaces, and if you want it to be animated and feel kind of real and homey, you put a campfire underneath so it's smoking. 
So you get that going. And then also the cauldron is going to double has a uh, sink. Oh, I forgot. Also, if you want your uh, stove to look real, you can put a railroad track on it. So it looks like it's a, a stove top, which is oh, always really fun. So it makes sense that the steam's coming out the top. And then next we move on to the cauldron. So the cauldron, you put water in it and you put a le lever above it on the window and then you just like mark it down or flip it down. And it looks like a sink. It's really cute and cozy and uh, it just has a nice home feeling to it. So over here, this is gonna be the resting area. So we're gonna put a table down. There you go, put the little handles on it, the arms on it. And it's a pressure plate, a fence, two signs, and a stair. And then you also want to make some pots to put the plants in. That way you have foliage going on. And it's not just a sterile, clean living room. You actually have plants going on. So you can make your own plants without a mod, which is always fun to do. And then you also want to have light source so no mobs spawn in your little spruce abode. <laughs> Uh, this is always nice. Uh, one of my favorite blocks too is the book block. The block, yeah, the library block I suppose that goes with that. Uh, you can put those down and I put a carpet down and this is just like a relaxing reading corner next to the kitchen. It's a good little starter base house because you have a little bit of everything and you could, you know, put a mine outside. Uh, spruce forest signs also go good around the bed which is what I did there. And then this is the outside. You put a light in the very top middle, some bushes in the front. And I decided to surround this in spruce fences. That way none of the mobs could get in. I don't know what your place would look like, but you can do this and just make your spot safe. And that way no one can get into it except you. And you just light it up and you're good to go. So yeah, thanks for sticking around till now. I have other builds. I have a sauna. I have a cafe lounge. There's a sun sunflower cottage or red cabin. Any videos that you want to see are here. So if you like this one, you'll for surely like the other ones. Oh, and by the way, feel free to subscribe. <laughs> Uh, if you enjoy this tutorial, bleh, this tutorial, please let me know and then I'll, you know, I can make other tutorials. It's not too hard, not too difficult. I love doing it. So I'm glad y'all stopped in and remember I am your friendly forest fae. I wish you good luck on the build and may you have all the good tidings. <laughs> but yeah, subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment, tell me what you think, if you have any ideas and I'm glad you stopped in. I'm glad you're here. And once again, I'm Boachi. I'm so happy to have y'all see what's going on. And hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm now going to give y'all a tour of the bill. So let's go see how this turned out, your lovely little bill. I'm going to go through the fence, close it because we have manners. <laughs> and here it is. It looks wonderful, especially with the shaders. It looks very cozy and very quaint and it's so simple to do. I put some spruce woods over the the furnaces because it just made it blend in better and I just, I like it. And here's the barrels to keep your stuff. We got the sink. <laughs> the knob cracks me up, that's just silly. So yeah, we got this. The floor complements the spruce wood, that's why I chose the jungle wood. And we have the dresser here. And then we move on to the bedroom. We got some plants. We got our profession blocks to fix our tools and craft. We got our armor painting. It looks very cozy. It's all homey. It's really nice and I'm sure you and your friends would love this. <laughs> the frames. I like invisible frames. They look nice. But yeah, this is easy to do. You can do it uh, over and over again. You can make a village with this design. It's just really nice. It's one big room. It's all open and spacious and it's just really relaxing to be in here. So you come in, play Minecraft, and have a good time. Read some books. <laughs> Make some cakes. Oh yeah, you can put a cake up there. <laughs> and then here's some berries. The, ba uh, the berries look different because I have a mod pack on and I couldn't get it to just look like the normal berries. But yeah, I made this by the beach in the middle of the forest. See, so you can look in. It looks very nice. 
being a little peeper. <laughs> I can see what you're doing in there. So yeah, here's the back of the build. I got the spruce buttons and everything going on. And yeah, there's just a nice, it matches real well in the forest too. I guess because it's made out of the same wood. I thought it was really adorable. I love this design and the fence, yeah, the fence keeps people out, keeps the critters out, the creepers, the cows, the trader, the wandering trader who goes everywhere, good lord, he's always trying to break into my base. So yeah, here you go, you can make it too, and once again, subscribe.